Hello and welcome back to another episode of Interesting People. Today we'll be talking about Violet Jessup, who is also known as Miss Unsinkable. Oh, and stay tuned for the end because I've got a few updates as well. Being on a ship when it has a serious collision with something would be a once in a lifetime event. Well for me it would be as it would scare me away from ships for life. For Violet Jessup this once in a lifetime event happened three times and two of the three times ended up with the ship sinking making her one of the most lucky unlucky people I've ever heard of. Violet Jessup was born on the 2nd of October 1887 in Bahia Blanca Argentina to Irish parents. At age 16, Jessup moved to England after her father's death, where she went to a convent school and cared for her youngest sister, whilst her mother worked at sea as a stewardess. Unfortunately, her mother became ill and Jessup had to leave school and look for work. She eventually followed in her mother's footsteps and started working as a stewardess on board the RMS Orinoco in 1908. Jessup began working for the White Star Line aboard RMS Majestic, eventually transferring to RMS Olympic in 1910. The sister of a more famous ship, we'll talk about that a bit later. At the time, the Olympic was the largest civilian liner and the first in the Olympic class of ocean liners built by the White Star Line. On the Olympic's fifth voyage, disaster struck the vessel, under the command of Captain Edward Smith on the 20th of September 1911, RMS Olympic was struck by HMS Hawk just off the shores of the Isle of Wight. HMS Hawk was a ramming vessel by design and because of this the damage to the Olympic was a financial disaster for the White Star Line. Even though the collision was financially crippling, the company carried on building Olympic class vessel. On the 10th of April 1912, at the age of 25, Jessup boarded her next ship to work as a first class stewardess on another Olympic class ship, a ship that you may have heard of. The RMS Titanic was larger than her sister, the HMS Olympic, and was advertised as the safest and most comfortable way to travel the seas. The ship, captained by Edward Smith, set sail on its maiden voyage the same day. The Titanic almost collided with SS New York on its departure, missing it by a mere four feet. And four days later, the Titanic wasn't so lucky as it struck an iceberg in the Atlantic Ocean. During the sinking, Jessup helped people onto lifeboats and assisted with non-English speaking passengers. Eventually, Jessup was ordered onto lifeboat 16 and one of the ship's officers gave her a baby to look after. She spent eight hours in the lifeboat before being picked up by the RMS Carpathia. Whilst aboard the ship, the baby was taken off of her by what was presumably the baby's mother. So far, Jessup's career had been very unlucky to say the least. You would think it would put you off sailing, but not for Violet. Leading up to the First World War, Jessup began working aboard another Olympic class ship, the RMS Britannic. The Britannic was employed as a Red Cross hospital ship working around the Aegean Sea. On the 21st of November 1916, the ship struck either a mine or a torpedo. There is some speculation as to what the cause was, and surprise surprise, the ship began to sink. This time round though, Jessup wasn't lucky enough to get on a lifeboat as the Britannic began to sink. The ship sank in a shocking 57 minutes, taking 30 souls down with it. When she was in the water, Jessup was pulled aboard a lifeboat, only having to abandon it moments later as it was nearly crushed by the moving propeller blades of the sinking vessel. Later in life, Jessup mentioned in her memoirs on the sinking of the Britannic, The white pride of the ocean's medical world dipped her head a little, then a little lower, and still lower. All the deck machinery fell into the sea like a child's toy. Then she took a fearful plunge, her stern rearing hundreds of feet in the air, until with a final roar she disappeared into the depths. In 1920 Jessup returned to sea and worked on board a number of ships, most notably the Bergenland. She retired in 1950 in Great Suffolk and after a long retirement passed away due to heart failure in 1971 at the age of 84. Violet Jessup definitely earned her name as Miss Unsinkable, even though ironically she was aboard two sinking ships. Personally, I would have looked for a career change after the fiasco of HMS Hawk in 1910, but I'm not the most confident swimmer, so I probably wouldn't have been on the Olympic in the first place. I'm not sure the sight of her aboard your ship would be reassuring, but if she was, it would have been a guarantee that at least she would have lived to tell the tale. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and now for a couple of announcements. 
Um, it's amazing to for me to say that we have reached a thousand subscribers. Uh, we couldn't have got here without you guys, and I'd just like to say thank you so much for all your support and all your comments and subscriptions and likes. And we will be doing a 1,000 subscriber special coming up shortly. Uh, it might possibly be a Q&A, so if you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. And once again, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.